Bam, what's good? It's your boy Kosher Nostra back at you guys once again. Another sneaker review, no delay fam. Let's check these joints out. Nike Kyrie 4 in a size 11, multicolor slash multicolor is the official color on the box. Let's check out the sneaker, guys. All right, guys, there's the sneaker itself. Nike Kyrie 4 in the 90s colorway. These things are hard, man. My favorite of the three drops from the Decades pack. The details on these are somewhat subtle depending on how you see it. Of course, when they're not on feet, you really get to take these things in for what they're worth. The sock liner on these and the outsole are really what sell the shoe. The upper on the shoe from the toe all the way to the heel is essentially all white. From that mesh material back to the Nike swoosh, um, up the tongue, the laces. You've got this really dope snow white color. On the actual fly wire on the first two lace aglets, um, you've got that sort of tur turquoise aqua blue color. I think that's a really nice selection. I feel like it, it's a dope accent to the shoe itself. When you look at the Kyrie logo on the tongue, that aqua color makes it a return. And then it's got a little hit of purple on there as well. The actual sock liner, um, you've got these sort of squiggles and multicolors. You've got orange, green, blue, purple. The sock liner is awesome. I saw a couple people make comments that they wish that they had kind of extended that sock liner pattern to the actual uppers of the shoe. I do agree. I would have liked to have seen how that would have looked, but I really, really dig these, so I don't really want to mess with the design too much. The outsole on these things is probably my favorite feature. You've essentially got blends of just about every color going on. The actual toe cap has a lot more pink, purple, pastel, sort of white, a lot of a lot lighter colors, and then it sort of blends down the shoe. I don't really know how they came up with the actual color blocking and splashing. Supposedly, it was supposed to be influenced by 90s cartoons from Nickelodeon and stuff like that. So I definitely can't see some of those color choices, but it's really interesting how they decided to blend it all together. To me, that outsole is the hardest feature of the shoe. These things are awesome. You know, again, when you see them on shelves or you, you see them on foot, and of course somebody's standing on the ground. Some of these aspects are a little harder to take in, but when you get really close to the shoe, it's just a super clean look with some really dope accents. The lateral portion of the shoe features a white Nike swoosh. When you work your way over to the medial portion of the shoe, you actually have that sort of green glow, glow in the dark Nike swoosh. Another dope accent to the shoe. On the outsole, the zigzag is white to sort of distinguish that portion of the shoe. Man, I cannot get enough of this sneaker. The left shoe's insole is pastel purple with a blue kind Kyrie signature. The right shoe's insole is blue with a white Kyrie signature. So again, another feature to sort of distinguish one shoe from the other. All in all, like I said, I can't get enough of these things. What do you guys think of these, man? Are you digging these? Do you wish they'd sort of taken some of those colors and thrown them in other places? Let me know in that comment section down below, guys. Let's check these things out on feet. It is your boy, Coaster Nostra. I appreciate you guys, as always, for walking with my review. Stay blessed, guys. Peace. Thank you.